Hello, this is Ryan from Red Hat's OpenShift team. I'm going to be giving you a short introduction to MongoDB on Node.js. We'll cover installing MongoDB related cartridge services and show you how to talk to MongoDB from Node. A text copy of this content is available on the OpenShift blog, providing easy access to the commands and code snippets used in this video. For today's demo, I'll be using OpenShift Online, Red Hat's own hosted deployment of the OpenShift platform, where you can host three applications for free, no expiration. Sign up at OpenShift.com or join the community and learn how to host your own deployment of OpenShift while on openshift.github.io. Let's get started by spinning up a new OpenShift application, listing Node.js and MongoDB as our service requirements. I'm using the RHC command line tool to self-provision a new application instance. Services will be installed and configured automatically. A fresh set of randomly generated authentication credentials be, will be returned to you in the command output. This information will be made available to your applications via environment variables as well, so you won't need to write this down or include any of this information in your application source. If you would like to try out the Rock Mongo web frontend for MongoDB, it can be added to your application in a single step. RHC cartridge add Rock Mongo. Mongo has now been made available. I'll log in with the provided credentials, locate my application database, and add a new collection of documents named Books. Easy, right? The RHC SSH command provides an easy way to contact your application container. Once connected, type Mongo to enter the interactive command line interface. While we're connected, Let's add some data for us to query. I'll type use mongo node app to select my database and then reference the db object typing db.books.insert and supplying a hash of data to be added to the books collection. db.books.find1 will return our new document. Now let's try finding the same data from within Node.js. The following conditional assignment operation allows you to write code that will work in local development environments while providing automatic support for OpenShift whenever the appropriate environment and variables are defined. We can do something similar for MongoDB connection strings, provide a sensible default for local development, and a more advanced configuration when OpenShift environment variables are available. To connect to MongoDB from Node.js, We'll take a look at the Node MongoDB native driver available via npm install MongoDB and the MongoJS npm library available via npm install MongoJS. The MongoDB native driver provides a Mongo client object for establishing DB connections based on your connection string. This interface hides the DB object inside the callback scope of this connect function which may lead to callback hell if not managed properly. The Tengen team puts a lot of effort into making the MongoDB client interface feel like a native experience in each language. This one's really nice, but I think the one offered by MongoJS feels a little more natural. With MongoJS, the DB object doesn't need to be wrapped in a callback. This interface feels more true to the actual JavaScript style Mongo interactive shell to me. To learn more about MongoDB, refer to the online MongoDB manual at docs.mongodb.org. Each of the NPM modules have excellent online documentation on GitHub as well.